my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you just tuned in. Don't forget to subscribe and put the notification bell on because still 90% watching and you know, not everyone subscribing. Now today I want to make another video on Demi Lovato versus Morissette Amal. You guys really enjoyed that last video. You enjoyed the comparison and you know the examples that I gave and looking to each singer what makes them special. How are they executing the particular song and um, please go watch that video. I'm just gonna make a small recap. So what was really interesting is of course Morissette's cracking. Demi Lovato also uses crack as a stylistic choice. Please don't use cracking as a non-stylistic choice. Know what you're doing and seeing and that's really important. Um, so both of them, big, great range. Both of them using mixed voice uh, to attend certain notes. Demi Lovato is a great mixer. She is very confident there. I am also offering a package how to sing with power for $15 with four amazing exercises and videos that you can work at home at your voice. So this is super convenient. You can go to my online shop. The link is in the comment section below. So if you are interested in a how to sing with power, that's it's definitely your package. Why Morissette was a little bit leaning into it. There was a tilt going on with her larynx, so that tilt, that's something that made it a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more juicier, gave it a little bit more, a different nuance to it. So the tilting of the larynx, that I think, the leaning into it made it much more different. Now both of them great register, acoustic version with when it comes to Morissette. Uh, sometimes acoustic versions Mm, can be tricky depending on the singer because there's not this big band supporting you there at the moment. Let's continue. <laughs> from the microphone was not good where Maurice it were in the setting there but it sounded a little bit too uh, too chesty because at some point you were trying to bring your chest voice up high and you belt out those high notes question is would it be perhaps better to um, you know like she's done before leaning on it or perhaps even not belt or go directly uh, mixing it out or use a crescendo where you are kind of like building up a little bit more it's hard when you belt because it's really powerful there's an intense vocal production going on but I felt that here it was not really balanced it was not really strained but it wasn't I didn't feel that it was like freely at that point uh, where else I think Demi Lovato was a little bit more conscious and making choices you see that she made a break in between before she went into that next note so she you know pause stop gain a little bit strength and then went into her uh, to that high note which is good you have to build pauses if you know you are having a big song there then you cannot power through vocally all the time it will tire your voice depending on your background right <laughs> like 
is that more is that Amal um, is doing always something individual out of every song because she's doing a lot of cover singing, right? But also the same with Demi Lovato, there were great performances where she's doing Stay by Rihanna. So the, the idea of creating something on their own, bringing their own qualities into it, like the cracking or um, the rasp or whatever they are doing there, right? Um, this is something that I see. Morizet is riffing a lot around and Demi Lovato is also descending a lot. So what she's doing is she starts somewhere in a really high note, like she belts it or she mix it up there and then she brings that mix up down, which is really, really cool. So um, that's also very difficult. Let's continue. Yeah, so what she was doing is, it, it's very hard to hold that high note for a particular time. So what is easier is to go hold, like, kind of like you sing it for a moment, you hold it for a moment and then you go down, descending it down with a riff, for example, which she was doing, it's an easier choice to do, is descending it down with a riff. Because you're not forced to hold for some time, let it go, let it go, or whatever. Um, that doesn't have to be necessarily applied to that let it go but overall um yeah and she's taking a big breath before before she's taking the high notes <laughs> Yeah, so Marizette has more stamina, I would say, in that case, uh, to hold a little bit more their note, so you can see that she, she can she can do it. She has that, um, she just holds that note for some time, so there's no problem in that. Um, but you, they have really different voices, so it comes down in the end of preferences. It's just really preferences. If you ask me, I think both is interesting. I love voices that are like Bonnie Tyler or Fleetwood Mac. So these ladies would be anyway not ladies that I would hear privately, because I love Fleetwood Mac. So that, and I love this low key kind of um, yeah. Well, I love rock music, so I like a lot of of male voices as well. Um, so these are. Um, but I, I like the register, of course. It's not It's not always about belting high notes and mixing it, right? It's about emotional connection. This is the number one thing. If the singer doesn't transport an emotional connection, it doesn't matter how good he's singing or how cool he is. It's really about the whole thing, right? About the emotions. Yes, so let me know if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of those kind of comparisons looking into these videos. I tremendously enjoy them because I love to see how every singer works technically and what we can learn out of the songs. Sorry, I just need to watch because I have a student coming in a second, so I'm starting off. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think really in the end of the day, it's all about preferences. It's all about what you like to hear. For some people, they feel that Demi Lovato is technically not good. For some people, they feel that like Morrison is just too much. And and I get the idea of that belting is, is too much. And honestly, I also think it. I think if I'm listening, if I would be in a concert and someone would just belt all the time, I would not like it either. Because it's a too high frequency, um, it's a too intense production and you feel like you have that sound wave coming, bursting at you. So it's important to balance it, not only for your voice and technical, but it's important to balance, and balance it because you are a storyteller. It's all about transporting in the first place that particular song. And it's not about over singing it. And there are quite some singers that do over sing it. For example, Christina Aguilera, I'm really I'm so sorry to say, it, but I feel that she nowadays over sing it a lot. It sounds a lot pushy and strained and just, I feel it's a lot of over singing going on. And this is something that we should also, you know, look at on our path as singers is how do I work out a song technically and how do I work it out in, in structuring emotionally and having the right set vocal settings, right? So thank you so much for tuning in. I see you in my next video.